Hello everyone. Delete user created studio field app will help user to delete in studio field which is created by the user. At first we need to do some user configuration. So let's get into the settings. Under user and companies we can see end users. Let's get into that. So from here we need to get into the mutual admin which are already created which is an admin. So here you can see that there will be end to access rights. One will be an internal user. So that user didn't have any access to delete and created studio fields. But if it is an admin that person will have an access rights to delete and studio fields that we have created. So now let's create one studio field. Okay. So let's create and studio fields in sales. For example, let's create a new one. So from here, I'm going to create a new field to add a field like in a priority. Okay, so I'm going to add a field as a priority here. You can see that the priority will be added. So I'm going to change the label as a priority alone. So here you can see the field will be added. Okay, and you can see the field name will be an X Studio priority. So after creating end field, I'll tell you how you can delete and studio fields that we have created. So for that, we need to get into the settings here under the technical. We need to search for and delete. So here you can see a delete studio fields. Let's get into that. So once you click on that, it will open in wizard where we can select and studio fields and it will drop down all the studio fields that we have created. And right now, this is the one that we have created. So let's select that one. And we can select multiple two. Okay. So for that, let's create an another one for your reference. I'll create another one field. So it's a text field. I'm going to add the text field below the priority. So here you can see these two other fields that we have created. So let's get into the settings to delete the fields that we have created by using the studio. So here we need to search for the delete. And this is the one we need to get into that. And here we can select and multiple fields. Here you can see these two other fields that we have created now. Okay. And now by using this option, we can delete the studio fields. Once you click on that, it will open in wizard. It will show a confirmation message to the user. So once it is okay, let's click on the okay or else we can just click on the cancel to cancel it. So now you can see that it will showing an error. So it is showing that this field is already still present in the views. So at first we need to remove this, those fields from the views. Okay. So for that we need to get into the sales. Let's get into one of the order that we have created. Here in this form view. We need to get into the inherited views where you can see the customization fields that we have added. Okay. Now let's command these two fields. So once this is done, let's get into end settings. So here in this technical, let's for search for and delete. Okay, delete studio fields where we need to get into that. And we can select a field that we have created. Let's select two fields that we have created now. So now let's click on that studio fields that is delete studio fields and it will show and confirmation message like this. Now let's click on the OK option to delete those fields. You can see that that it will be in the success like selected fields or remote. In this way, we can make use of this module to delete in studio fields which are created by the users. If you have any queries regarding this video, you can ask in the comment box. We will definitely solve your queries. And if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more Odoo related updates. Thanks for watching.